In this tutorial, we are going to build a simple water pump controller panel with RTU5024. However, RTU5015 is more suitable for such applications since it has two input terminals. For different types of RTU5024 applications, check out the website article below in the description where we discuss different types of RTU5024 applications and their wiring diagrams. Here's the wiring illustration of this application. Let's drill the holes for the push buttons and indicators in the panel door. I'm going to use 22 millimeter HSS also cutter. Let's start with the selector switch hole. Oh, I have already marked the portions of the of each button or the indicator in the door panel using a center punch. Right. I had to make two holes here for the transformer and a few holes at the back so I can mount the contactor uh, contactor here and the RTU5024 GSM controller here and here, here I'm going to mount the rectifier circuit of the power supply. Um, I'm going to use four millimeter drill bit. All right, let's mount the components to the panel box, starting with the panel door. All right, starting with the mounting wheel. RTU5024 GSM Relay Controller
All right, uh, let's mount the rectifier circuit. All right, I'm going to place the wire trunking inside the power box. I'm going to use this 20 millimeter wire trunking. You have to cut them according to the measurements. For the glue, I'm going to use this one, multi-bond. I have already sanded the bottom side of these uh, wire trunkings. Let's start the wiring, uh, starting from the panel door wiring. As you can see, I have already uh, put wire lugs on the wires and already cut the wires to the required length and also labeled the wires so I can properly identify the wires. Alright, let's start the wiring. This is the run indicator start button, stop button, and stop indicator, the auto manual selector. Now uh, let's start the wiring inside the power box. As you can see, I have put a wire spiral to take the wires from the power door to inside the power box.
right, here's how it looks like when the wiring is done. As you can see, uh, this is the input power wire, this is the power circuit, this one is the input power, goes to these two uh, terminals, L1 and L2. You can see the output can be taken from these two terminals. The output in this case, a motor, AC motor, so single pace, so both neutral and pace uh, comes to this contactor. Uh, I have replaced the antenna with a foldable one uh, instead of the right angle antenna. These are the things I have done to this panel. Well, let's see how it will work with the power. As you can see, the red light is on, which means the motor is not working. Uh, let's start the motor. Sorry. We need to first turn the selector to the manual mode. Now, as you can see, green light is on, which means the motor is working. Now, to stop, I'm going to push this red button which is this stop button. It works on both manual and the GSM mode. And that is the manual operation. Now well, let's turn it to the GSM mode. All right, as you can see, it turned on. Now let's turn it off using the app. Alright, now you can see it is off. Alright, uh, let's turn this on by a call. All right, as you can see, it works. Let, uh, let's uh, turn it off. We're using a call in function. All right, as you can see, it turns uh, the call in function also works. All right, that's how you built a pound for a motor using RTU-1524 with manual function. There are a few components are missing, but this is a basic uh, control panel for a simple single pace motor. Alright, thank you for watching. See you in a new tutorial.